Hey guys, welcome back. It's Katarina, and I hope you're all doing well today. For today's video, I have another top five series for you. This is going to be my top five favorite summer blushes. Also, let's ignore Bob today. He decided to pop up on my face the other day, and I just cannot get rid of him. So we're going to ignore him. If I could, I would put my hair like this, but then you'd only see one eye, and that's kind of weird. But let's just ignore him. Honestly, say all of Milani baked blushes are amazing for any time of the year, and they have some awesome summer blushes. But this one right here is one of my all time favorite summer blushes, just in general. This is the blush in the shade Carolina or Carolina. Coralina? Coralina, probably. That makes sense. Because it's a beautiful, like, orange, but like an orangey coral. I have this on my face right now, mixed with another blush that I'm going to tell you. The only con about this blush is that it does have flecks of glitter in it and you can kind of see them. There are more chunky glitter which all the other blushes from this line aren't like that so I wish this wasn't like that but it is the most beautiful like pop of color for the cheeks. Here it is swatched. It goes wonderfully with any skin tone and it's going to show up on all skin tones. These little guys retail for like only $8.99 as well so it's pretty affordable and they have about 10 in their collection. Next I want to talk about the NYX Rouge Cream Blushes. Again I have a couple of these but this one is my favorite for this time of the year. It's in the shade Glow and it's again just that beautiful, it's kind of like a watermelon coral with a little bit of a peachy undertone and it is a cream blush very super pigmented so here it is swatched like you can see compared to um, Coralina it's a lot more on the pinky side these are super hydrating they are so easy to blend out I recommend using like a sibling brush with these I feel like that's the easiest way or your fingers and these are super affordable as well as you guys know NYX cosmetics are very affordable and a little goes a long, long way. Literally will last you forever, I feel like. So this is an amazing one. Again, it's so hydrating, so it's perfect for that, that healthy J-Lo glow. And it's just beautiful and natural looking as well. Really, really like this one. Next, going on the totally opposite spectrum of that, I have some of the City Color B Matte Blushes. So like we were just mentioning, some um, cream blushes, which is going to be very moisturizing. And then also the blush before that had like a lot of glitter in it, a lot of the high sheen to it. This is completely matte, but that's okay, especially if you have oily skin. These are my favorite. I have very oily skin, and it's amazing to me to go in with matte products and then add your own highlight where you want to be glowy and then keep yourself matte where you want to be matte. So this is amazing. I love this formula. I rave about these blushes all the time. They are so incredible. And they're only $4.99, you guys. Link down below their website, of course, along with all of these. We have a 10% discount code for these if you guys want to pick one up. Actually, they're whole site wide. So, yeah, this shade in particular is my all time favorite for spring and summer. It is in the shade Fresh Melon. And I'm going to try and hold it back here because honestly, the camera is not picking up true to color. Or actually, I'll do a separate clip and I'll include that so you can see the true color. But it is almost like a neon um, coral. So it is so stunning. It's, again, completely matte. It feels like butter. It's so velvety smooth. And it's huge compared to the other blushes that I showed you. It's a really, really big blush. You get a ton of product. Just the most amazing shade. I am going to show some other shades other than just corals. But corals, I just feel like, are perfect. Oranges and corals. Orange blush. That's so weird. Oranges and corals are just so perfect for the spring and summertime because it adds that warmth into your skin, gives you that sun-kissed look, and they're just beautiful. Again, I also have a ton of blushes from that line, but the other one that I did want to quickly mention, I'm going to add this as like the same, like number three as well. This is also from them. This is in the shade Sweet Pea. This is one of their new releases, and this is a blush that I have mixed on with Coralina. It looks like it wouldn't really be anything too special when you see it in the pan, but it is the most beautiful, neutral, but warm shade. And I don't know what it is about this one, but this formula is even more smooth than the last one. So here it is swatched. It's kind of like a toned down coral. So it still has that coral undertone, but it's not bright and like in your face. It's just a beautiful neutral color, but still a pop of coralness into your look. And it's just stunning, you guys. I've been wearing this so much ever since I got it. Love it. For my girls out there who love a really good bubblegum pink, this is what you need to pick up. This is in another Milani Bake Blush. I'm telling you, I could mention their whole line. I love them so much. This one right here is in Delosioso Pink. It's newer to their collection. I believe it came out last year. 
and it is so beautiful with a tan or a deeper complexion. That's why I'm saying I love it so much for the spring and summertime because that's when I really get a tan going on. And it's just, it's just stunning. It is a true bubblegum pink. It is completely matte as well. So Milani, if you don't know, Milani Baked Blushes, they are mostly um, shimmery and glowy, but they do have two that are matte. This one right here and then another one that I have which is more like a red tone. But I'll swatch this guy right here. And like you can see, it's just the most beautiful, true bubblegum pink. And it looks stunning on everybody. But again, when you really have that tan or a deeper complexion, this just looks amazing. So I did want to include this one because I do always gravitate towards it towards the summertime. It even makes you look more tan than you actually are. And I'm all about blushes. I do that, girlfriend. Last, but most certainly not least, is this ColourPop blush in the shade Rain. I know what you're thinking if you haven't seen my last video. You're like, Kat, that is a purple blush. You're crazy. You guys know my obsession with purple. I used this actually in a tutorial a couple of videos back. I'll link it down below because a lot of you guys wanted to see it on because you're just as curious as I was when I saw it. But you're like, how is that going to look good on the cheeks? Because that's what I thought. But you guys know I'm obsessed with purple. So I gave it a go and it is so beautiful. It does not go on this color on your cheeks. And these, if you have never felt a ColourPop blush, they rain, I think they're like $8. And they kind of have a bouncy texture. They're not a total cream. They're not a total powder. And the, they're best applied with a foundation brush. I find like my, um, like this one would work from City Color Cosmetics or my RC Cosmetic brushes. The formula is just outstanding and it's so comfortable and natural looking on the cheeks. Well, as natural as a purple blush can be. But I'm actually going to put this on the top because my watch is down below. Also, this formula is matte as well, so mousse-like and fluffy that it doesn't seem like it's matte on your cheek. But this is what it looks like up here. So you can see it definitely has those purple undertones, but you guys, this color is amazing for when you have a tan going on. I have been self-tanning a little bit, and ever since I picked this up, I've been gravitating towards it all the time. It is so beautiful, and it's so unique. You know how in the spring and summertime we like to vamp it up? Well, not vamp it up, actually, because that would be more fall and winter. But we like to add some pizzazz to our look and include, like, maybe a bold, bright lip or a bold pop of color on the eyes. Why not do that on your cheeks with this color? I mean, this is stunning. And it works for all skin tones, depending on your undertones and just your complexion in general. It's going to kind of alter, and I love blushes like that because I find that they're just so unique. So this one right here, ColourPop in the shade Rain, is just outstanding. And I feel like you really, really need this in your collection. Alright you guys, that completes my top 5 favorite blushes for spring. Again, please let me know down below what is your current favorite blush or what are your favorite blushes for spring and summer. I'm always down to get more makeup. You guys know this. So thank you so much you guys for watching. I really hope that you did enjoy this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you next time. Bye!